the FBL watch list. Where Bacon Boy gets the magnifying glass out, having a browse at all of the best FBL players, suggesting either to buy or bin. I like it. Where the first geezer today, being the defender Bacon Boy is going to suggest, is Benjamin. Yeah, just Benjamin. We'll leave it as that, is it? <laughs> AKA Ben Chilly Willy. Now, Reese Jim Jams was my suggestion last week. So I can't go and suggest him again, right? I'm not Nathan Parrot FC. <laughs> so today, it's Sir Benjamin's turn to step up. Where since starting his first game of the season in game week 7, he has actually scored the second most FBL points out of all other players. Only beaten by uh, Salah, uh, fair enough. But also, has actually scored the same as Rhys James in that time. Ah, He's done that by one, being a good-looking fella, which, you know, probably has helped in some way or another, right? But if not, he has also got three goals and one assist as well. But he has actually managed to achieve that by having the most shots in the box than any other defender since he started starting. The most big chances and also the best XG as well. So when you have that much of a goal threat, also being in one of the best defences in the league, you, you are just an absolute weapon who could get all of the big boy points. As you got to remember, a goal for a defender is worth the same as two assists. So if he does keep on getting these chances, he does keep on getting, much like he did last week when he could have gone and scored like a hat trick, then surely, surely the biggest of the big boy points are going to be delivered to you as if they're from Amazon Prime themselves, straight into you next day, no question. <laughs> so the question shouldn't be, shall I go James or Chilwell? The real question should be, how do I get both of them in my team immediately? Because <laughs> even though their fixtures don't look too, too amazing, I think a long term and for the rest of the season, Chilwell, James and also Trent and Cancelo too are going to be way, way further ahead of any other defenders. And you're going to look at it at the end of the season and be like, why did I not just get them all in sooner? Yeah, I should do that. <laughs> Which is why my first watch list suggestion to buy this week is Benjamin Chilwell, as you can chill very well if you go and get him in, as he's going to get you all of the points. But next, and our midfielder today, it's going to be Banana Silva, or just Bernardo. Changed his name, apparently, just Bernardo. Fair enough. Who hasn't been silver this season, he's been more like Banana Gold, turning into the Portuguese Messi. Uh, fair play to him, putting in worldy performance in after worldy performance. Literally every game, amazing. <laughs> Bilva has started every game this season, apart from game week one for the Man City as well, and has also managed to nail down 90 minutes in seven straight league games as well. Now that is probably the biggest accomplishment any football player can ever achieve if you're in a Pep Fraudiola team, right? As there's more rotation than a Ferris wheel usually, so if you are Nailed. Wow. <laughs> he is also backing up those starts with four goals and two assists, including back-to-back -back goals now. But not only that, almost all of his shots are also coming inside the box, so a good chance of scoring. And he is also creating a good amount of chances as well, so there's possibility for all of the points everywhere. He's just an absolute saucy baller. So what we've got here is a Man City attacker, you know, that, which is a good thing anyway, who is seemingly nailed right now and also doing all of the bits, which is ever, ever more important, especially when there's a busy bee schedule, which um, there is right now. So he's definitely, definitely a good one to go for. And altogether, he just has everything. He has the perfect recipe to come out with all of the points on the other side. And that being especially the case if they have great fixtures as well. Oh, wow, what a coincidence. Would you look at that? <laughs> with Man City playing the likes of Watford, Leeds, Newcastle, and all of them soon. And also, uh, Man City are the hard fixture. They can beat anybody 4-5-0, so uh, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> so that right there makes this only 7 million midfielder the next fella on the watch list, and one that I reckon you should consider buying. At least consider it right. Fair enough if you don't want to. You should do what Bacon Boy tells you now. <laughs> then the final buy for this week, being our forward, it's the Liverpool legend himself, Ben Teke. Oh, the Lord. <laughs> no, yeah, uh, I am a boy full of memes, right? But this choice right here is not meme, okay? I'm being serious. With this season, and especially recently, Ben Teke actually looks back to his best and could continue doing all of the great things as well. Well, last week, he got himself a brace, bringing his goal tally to four for the season. Now, even though Palace have actually had the toughest fixture out of any other team so far this season. Hey, that's pretty good. He was also more active than the local sex worker this week, taking five shots, all of them in the box as well, with two of them also being big chances, which is coincidentally the two he converted as well. Oh, he's a good striker. Well done. <laughs> 
Palace's next few fixtures are a bit of on and off if you're actually looking at the FDR colours, but if you do look at them in colourblind mode and actually look at the fixtures, they are pretty damn sexy. Where they will play the likes of Villa at home, Leeds, Man United and Everton in the next four, Southampton and Watford just after that too. So definitely some very great ones there to target, especially saying Palace are a team who actually look like they could score against anyone right now, so yeah, that's pretty good. So all of that makes this cheap boy forward who might be needed to actually afford all of these crazy wingbacks that are coming about, and maybe we do actually want to take some money out of our front line and get in the cheaper forwards instead. Aha, Benteke could be the guy. As he's just amazing value and has amazing, amazing upside with these fixtures, he could get you all of the points. Very much one you should consider. Unless you're a cheeky scrub and don't believe a word I say, then fair enough. All I gotta say to that is, I like it! <laughs> and then we finish it off with one more big boy, the player I am gonna suggest to sell this week. And trust me, it is a really big one, okay? Where, ah, ow, 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 I can already feel the pitchforks digging into me right now with uh, the amount of rage I'm about to have in the comments from this one, because, yeah. <laughs> As the player, I think all of you out there should sell this week is Antonio. Yes, yes. <laughs> Now, okay, he is still the highest point scoring forward so far this season, with six goals and four assists so far. Not too bad, right? But, but, he has actually only had one goal and zero assists in his last six games. Uh, oh dear. But he has also failed to have a single shot on target in his last three games, even though West Ham have been scoring. So it's not just like the team's been playing bad. The team is playing good. And he's still not doing it, so yeah, sometimes that's not good. But not only that, he now faces Man City away next, which is uh, the hardest fixture for any forward in the world, never mind this league right now. <laughs> but then also he has Chelsea in two weeks as well, so very much not good there. Along with Brighton and Arsenal, either side of that Chelsea game too, who are very, very capable of keeping the entire West Ham team out, never mind just Antonio. But that is another thing, you know, West Ham are very good. Antonio are very, very good as well. So are we expecting them to just completely stop scoring and really struggle now? Uh, no. <laughs> well, the main reason I am suggesting to sell Antonio is not because I don't think Antonio will get no returns at all. Like, he could still get a goal here and there. But with these fixtures, I just think it's a great, great opportunity to try and get more points from someone else. Meanwhile, a lot of people will stick. Almost half of FBL players still have him. So if you go for someone else and get more points, then that's quite a good gain there. It's like an extra differential. Everyone's stuck on this player that keeps on blanking. Meanwhile, you can profit some somewhere else. Uh, hey, hey, that sounds good if it works out. <laughs> Again, high risk, high reward kind of thing, isn't it? But if you are considering selling him, players like Jimenez have a great next two games and even the Newcastle strikers could do very well over the next few game weeks as well. But also remember, there's going to be a lot of fixtures and a lot of games right now. Can Antonio cope? We all know about his injury record. Uh, like you could keep him to eventually get to those easier fixtures and then turns out he just gets injured before them anyway. Uh, oh dear. <laughs> so again, this is not me saying you are a proper dirty casual if you don't sell him right now because he is still good. But I am saying maybe just consider it because maybe, maybe you can get more points from someone else. And just like FPL, even if you do sell him, it doesn't mean you can't buy him back. Like if you, you could sell him for just two or three weeks for the Man City Chelsea and then buy him straight back after. Fair enough. But I am saying he is a sell this week. Oh, can't wait for this to backfire. We'll see. <laughs> but that is actually it for my Game Week 13 watch list. Three players to buy and one player to sell. I want all of you out there to put down in the comments your suggestions for a buy and a sell this week. And then we can just all help each other, you know. It's all about the community. <gasps> Thanks for watching. But also, remember... <laughs> Don't be a cheeky scrub. Subscribe to Nathan Bacon right now. <laughs> Don't let your memes be dreams. <laughs>